welcome back. So, we're on vacation this weekend. Weather's nice, it stormed last night. Uh, supposed to chance of rain today, nothing major though. It's supposed to be up to almost 80 today, be up to 90 by Monday. We got some uh, new planer boards we're gonna try trolling with today. I got a new drift sock, slows the boat down to 1.25 miles an hour. Uh, we're up in the Adirondacks, it's pretty nice weather. A little breeze right now. We're gonna do some drifting with some Michigan stingers. See if we can catch a pickerel or a perch. And then after a while, we'll go out and do some trolling with the downriggers. There's lake trout in here, rainbow trout. I'm not sure if there's browns. I believe there might be, but I know there is rainbows and lake trout. So uh, we got a new camera lens on. It's a wide angle lens. And uh, we shouldn't have any noise from the focus like my old lens did. So now I can keep the GoPro on the chest mount. I don't have to record with just that. I got a new microphone on. I'm hoping it picks up the sound and cuts out wind noise. You got the mount on the boat. It gives me a full range. I can go all the way around the boat with this. Give you a quick view of the lake we're on. Got a view that way. Swing around. We got auto stabilization on this lens, so. I don't know if you can see my face there. Tighten that up a little bit. Nice thing, I can zoom right in. You can see the fish finder now. Swing it all the way around. Get a nice view. Well, hoping we can pick up something, get it on video today, test out the new lens, and you know, we're vacation. So, either way, if we catch something, great. If we don't, it's still a nice day out on the water. So, stay tuned, we might get lucky. Just got my wife out of the tree, she was buried up into a pine tree here. Get back over here. I saw two largemouth, pretty sure they're largemouth. It looked like you could see the stripe on them. They're definitely bass. I think they're on beds over here. There was two of them. They came in pretty aggressive at the lure, so. Let's see if I can try to get one of them. At the same time, I had a pickerel following it too, so it's tough to say. wing it back up tight to these bushes that's where the pickerel came out of and then right after the pickerel hit the two bass came in so they could have been protecting their nest from the pickerel I really don't know I'm not sure how they uh how that works they were right in this area Right down beside here. I'm going up past this tree after you reel in and get up in this pocket here. I had two bass and pickerel over in this area, so. The bass, I don't know where they went. The pickerel was hanging right about where you were. And he just splacked that at once. He didn't really hard, hard hit on it. Got him. Oh, that's a big bass. That's a really big bass. Oh, get the net. Get the net. Hurry. He's big. He inhaled this thing, though. Get him. Net him. We got a monster bass. Holy. Woo. I got a monster bass. We're going to get a weight on this guy and the length. Wow. He swallowed that thing too. 
and get my can't get your camera and get a good picture of this guy look at that thing I don't know how good you can see it on the camera he's huge there switch sides on the on the tape oh well, we got 19 inches so Four point five six pounds. Out. Let it settle here. Four fifty six. So we got just shy of five pounder. Got that on my new impulse rod. Uh, that was on my medium action actually. It wasn't even my heavy rod. Be the Energy Series top water. There we go. And we'll get a good release on this guy. Big girl, probably. I'm thinking that was on a bed. Give her a little bit. gonna swim right away perfect <laughs>